Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, classroom assessment tool, Plickers, and how you could use it um, really within probably 10-15 minutes. You could be up and running in your classroom. This is a great tool for formative assessment, and it is also fantastic for classrooms that are limited with technology. You just need to have a teacher computer and then a smartphone for uh, the teacher to collect the data. First thing we're going to do is create an account on Plickers. So we need to open up our web browser. In this video, I'm going to use Google Chrome. And we need to go to the website Plickers.com. P-L-I-C-K-E-R-S dot C-O-M. From here, we are going to want to sign up. Go ahead and create an account. And just like that, we are into Plickers and ready to get rolling. As soon as you sign in for the first time, Plickers is going to take you through a quick tutorial. The first thing we are going to want to acknowledge in this video after creating an account is that you need cards for your students. Now you can print these off yourself or you can purchase them. You notice up here in the corner there is a link for cards. Go ahead and click on that and Plickers gives you the cards for free. You simply download the PDF and print them off. You'll notice that if we open up a set, there are many different sets you can use. The standard is what most people go with and there's 40 cards in this uh, set and you will be printing off two cards per page so you will need to cut them. There's an expanded set with 63 cards, a large font that makes it easier for younger students, large cards so that there's only one card per page and then large cards expanded so there's 63 cards and you're going to be printing one per page gives you an idea what each set is ideal for right over here so let's go ahead and take a look at the standard set if I click on that it's going to open up the PDF for me it's opening up directly in my browser but as you can see here each square is different. At a quick glance you might just think each one's the same but in each corner there's a number. This is how you determine which student gets which card. And here, here in a minute we'll take a look at how to assign a card to a student. And then each side has an A, B, C, or D. So you're going to be asked your students multiple choice or true and false questions and they simply just hold the card with the letter facing up for what their answer is. I've already printed these off so I'm going to go ahead and close this. The next thing I want to do is create a class. So I go over here and click on classes. I'm going to add a new class and I'm just going to title it for this video. and you can give it a class color so that helps you quickly go back and uh, differentiate between them. Okay, now that we've saved it, you can see I don't have any students in here. Now, one by one I can enter names or I can add a roster. So what I'm going to do is just get uh, some random names generated. And I'm just going to use 10. We'll go ahead and copy these. Take them back over to Plickers. And here you can see those 10 names have been added. And the card numbers have automatically been assigned. 
1, 2, all the way through 10. If you want to, you can change by simply dragging and dropping, and you'll see the 11 and 4 switch spots. Okay, now that we have our student names and cards associated, let's take a look at how to ask a question. Here's our library. This is where all the questions we have made are going to be. So we want to create a new question, and our choices are multiple choice or true and false. And we'll go ahead and give answers. And we'll decide which one is cor correct. We'll go ahead and save. If you notice over here, you also have the option to add an image as well. Okay, now we can add it to a plan. So I'm going to do tutorial video. And now we're good on the computer side. Next thing we're going to take a look at is how it looks on your smartphone. I have my question ready and my students ready. So let's go ahead and switch over to that. For this, I'm going to use uh, still pictures from my iPhone. Here I've printed off 10 of the Plickers cards that I have assigned to the random names that we looked at before. What I would like you to do is imagine that you are in your classroom and each one of these sheets is a student sitting out at their desk. This is the Plickers home screen on your phone. This is your first classes when you get logged in. Here are the questions that you made. So you will select a question. Here you can see your question and the possible answers. Here's what it looks like when you scan your phone over the answer cards through your class. You can see the names pop up on the cards, which the kids enjoy if you are able to show that on the screen as well. Here's all the data collected from the results. Okay, now that we have collected our data from the students using our smartphone, let's go ahead and go back to the computer and take a look at what it looks like there. Now, if I would have had a live view open on the computer during going around with it, these would have been popping in as we collected the responses. We can reveal the answer and see how each student answered. We can also look at a graph, much like we saw on my iPhone. And we can reveal which one is correct. OK, now if we go to reports, we can view the archived report and see how it answered. Let's go ahead and take off the demo. I've only got it on the tutorial video class for this specific video. So here we can see all the archived reports I have for this class. One other thing I wanted to mention to you about the Plickers cards is that you can purchase them on Amazon.com as well. If you just print them off on paper like I did for this video, they're not going to last very long. You could print them off on cardstock and laminate them at school, but be careful on the laminate that you use. Most has a glossy finish, and with most classrooms using fluorescent lighting, that will cause some glare, and your smartphone might not be able to pick it up as well. So if you notice here, a durable matte laminated version of our standard set is available for sale on Amazon.com. Most of the time when I've looked, they've been restocking because they're very popular. I believe they cost around $20, but don't quote me on that. If we take a look here, you can see that they're currently unavailable. So check back here often. Uh, you can see that it's the DECA 40. Um, I've used these before. They are really simple. And the audiences that I've used them with, really appreciated them as well. So that's all for this video. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch it 
and I hope you enjoy using clickers in your classroom and get some great formative data to help make your students better. Have a great day.